chilling, man. Um, you know, I know it's been a been a hot little minute since the last stream, but uh, back from the reveal, back on the stream. Yeah, boy, I don't know. Hey, man, I'm loving the redesign uh, with the character. I'm so fucking glad that she's back. It's uh, one of the characters that, one of the really, really the only character I genuinely love um, or I have an attachment to uh, in the MK universe. So I'm ecstatic, man. I'm excited to play this character. Uh, solely off the strength of loving the character, so it's definitely gonna push me to um, try my hardest and uh, you know give it give it an effort that I don't normally give it. You know, I feel like you know I I told people how far I've gotten right now was based off. Uh, I feel like just raw talent. I never just really. I don't think since MK9, I really, I haven't really just uh, dived into a game like um, as far as just breaking everything down bit by bit. But I might, just, I might just have the, um, I guess the endurance, I guess, to just go ahead and do that. It's just now I have a back. That's crazy. They put this fucking character back in. I think Samich would have played Scarlet too. It was a lot of Scarlet users. That's because her um her move list, also her move list, it, she don't have many, she don't have as much moves as everybody else who uh who was at the at the reveal demo was in the reveal demo. So she was pretty, she's pretty simple to use for the most part. Even though I feel like we still wasn't um doing, I, I feel like we wasn't playing her the right way. We really was just using her uh, the way 16-bit told us to use her because 16-bit has, I think the, I think he was the one with the most knowledge of the character there, so he was telling us what to do, but I feel like um, we still wasn't playing. We, I think we was just trying to do combos, but we wasn't playing how she was supposed to be played. I think she's going to be really solid. I think she's going to be really, really strong. It's a different play style than what I'm used to because in MK9, I was used to her being a uh, rush down in your face character, but now she's a She's a zoning. It's more of a zoning character with good, good mid range to long range normals, and good zoning tools. What's up, here? I still favor Sonya too. You know, Sonya. I'm gonna still be trying her out. I like the way that Sonya plays. I like the, I like the way she looks. I like the way she plays in in this variation. Well, not variation, but in this installment of the game. So I'm definitely gonna be using it. I know people want to see me use it, so off that too, I'll be using it. But I've grown to like the character. I'll use it. I, I, I like this ver. I like the recent versions of it. I like the MKX versions of it. I like the MK11 version of it. Um, I think before then, before that, she really didn't have enough personality for me. But now, you know, since she's that general boss type character, you know, bossy, I like that. <clears throat> What's up, Evolution? What up, King Tay? What do I think of the? What do I think of the gameplay. I think it's solid, man. I think it's really good what they're doing. I think they're kind of taking it back to the MK9 kind of days where um, fifty fifties wasn't really a thing. You're gonna really have to win in a neutral. It's, they don't play exactly like MK9, but in the sense of, uh, you know, spacing and with punishing and, um, you know, less prevalent 50 50s, I think, you know, it's going back to that. Um, I like the fact that 50 50s, you don't get big combo damage. You don't get big combo damage in general in this game like you did in the past games, like in, in uh, MK9 and. 
and uh, MKX. This is the this is the least the least combo heavy game out of MK9 and MKX. Like the juggle, they they tone down the combos. Um, so even if you get even if you get a standard BNB, you're probably going to be doing like 28 to you know maybe low 30s on a good day 35 at best 35 percent but where you're going to really get your big damage is from uh those situations where you combo into your fatal your, uh your crushing blow move or you know going into a fatal blow so you're going to really be wanting those in order to extend your damage i think those are going to be where the optimal combos come from is is uh combo into into uh crushing blows anything outside of that you're just going to be getting uh you know decent damage from like you know amplified moves whether you're spinning one bar or two bars but uh so far in the build 50 50s aren't looking they aren't looking as strong as they have been um not nearly as strong as how they are in this game yeah, like i said on twitter you know, take Sonya for example. If you do her back one, two, I think it's back one, two, four. Um, the second hit of that, the back one, two part is is the second hit is an overhead. The third hit launches if it connects. So, you know, you would probably get decent twenty eight percent off of BNB or low thirties. Um, she has a low option off the string as well. Um, she'll do back one. But instead of the overhead being a second string, the second part of the string, the low will be a second part of the string. But that low doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't lead to, to a combo. It goes, it's special castable though, so it'll lead into, it'll lead into a, um, like maybe her special low, which is like a, it's like a trip, a tripping move. And you can amplify it, you get damage that way but you don't get like a full juggle combo off of it don't launch anything you know what i'm saying so you won't be getting as much off the overhead option as um as you do the low well you don't you won't you won't be getting as much uh you won't be getting as much damage off the low as the overhead option so i feel like if they keep that formula we'll be in, in a good position i don't want i don't want uh I don't want characters having both of those options to get low to get to get uh good damage off of highs and lows and i also want consequences to see some of these well a lot of these a lot of these um a lot of the overhead starting um from what i see in a lot of the overhead starting strings well they was like either normals like i see like Scarlet's back too. It'll be an overhead starter, but it'll be slow and it doesn't combo. And I seen that. I think I seen that with Baraka too, where he do a jumping overhead, but it was slow and I don't think it comboed. I'm not sure about Baraka because I really didn't play him like that, but I seen him do the overhead. I don't know if it's special cancel or cancelable or not, but um, it seems like if you do overheads in this game and they just they're starting overheads, they don't combo. But they might be crushing blows, so in that sense, they might do good damage. But other, outside of that, if it's if it's not if it's an overhead and not a crushing blow, it's gonna it's only gonna do so much damage. It's not gonna do big damage. Taking a grab is still a 50-50, but I don't know if every character has a crushing blow off of that. Just like this game, throws are still duckable. Um, but I know Raider can get a Raider can get a um, a crushing blow if if you if you take wrong on a throw. But also, uh, I think it was was it catch up telling me that um, if you duck a throw like you do in this game, if somebody try to throw you and you duck it, you can uppercut them and get a crushing blow and that'll launch and that's pretty good damage. So if I read that you're gonna try to grab me. I made that read, and you whiff your grab, and I uppercut you. Then you're gonna pay for that shit, which I fucking absolutely love because ducking a throw means you absolutely have the read. 
And I think you should really get good damage from that. Because you're taking a risk, and from taking a risk, you should be rewarded. But at the same time, um, I feel like even in this game, in Mortal Kombat X, you can, you, you can, you're rewarded greatly for um, doing the same thing, except it's not a crush and blow. You can get a full combo. If you read somebody's trying to grab you, you just duck that shit, and then boom. Yeah, like, yeah, Hayate, I feel the same way. You know, me and you was talking about it. We was like, you know, we wasn't feeling it. Um, we felt like, we felt like, uh, you know, maybe it had some injustice feel to it in some sense. But when you really start to look at what they was trying to do, you know what I'm saying? What they what they trying to do, when you really look at more footage and you see what, what they trying to do with the game, man, you, you really understand how good this game um, is going to turn out to be. I feel like this game's it gives me MK9 feels and I feel like that's great. That's what I've been longing for for years since we had it last time. And I feel like it's getting back to that. And I feel like, you know, for people who didn't play MK9, that shit was she was so neutral, so fussy heavy. Um, I feel like they're they're there in that regards when you're on the ground, but I feel, I still feel like they need to they need to they need to sharpen up. Um they need to sharpen up jump ins. I feel like jump ins still need work. I feel like anti air still need work. Um, from what I, from what I played at the at the reveal, I feel like um, when you do jump over cross ups, they should like like the character who's doing the jump over cross up should auto correct quicker. I think in some instances where you do a jump over cross up and your the the character is still facing the opposite direction of the opposing character that you're trying to jump over. So you're just like jumping over them and you you're whiffing normals and you're still facing a different direction and probably leave you open to a punish. Yeah. Um I still feel like this they're, they're still joke uh still still floaty. Still still too floaty. I would like to see them add a little bit of gravity to the to the jumps. Um I want them to bring back being able to down one. See, this was the mind game in MK9. You do a jump, and chances are, eight times out of ten, if you do a jump, you were going to get anti-air by either a standing one or a down one. So in order to counter that, this was the mind game. So if you knew somebody was going to um, try to anti-air you, which most of the times it worked, so if I read that, okay, I'm going to do this jump in, but I have a strange feeling that he's going to try to um, anti me. So I'm going to just do jump kick. Jump kick would beat out like the down ones. It would beat out stand ones too, but you had to be more quicker on the gun. So if I knew that you were going to do stand one, I had to be, I had to do my, my jump four or jump three quicker in order to beat you out. But if you were sharp, if you were sharper than me and you did that stand one before I was able to get it out, then you would anti me anyway. So that made people like you couldn't come into the game, bro. You couldn't jump at all. Like if you come in and play the game and you playing against a high level motherfucker, like you couldn't jump. Like I got blown up for that shit <laughs> when I first got on with uh, my boys down here at KH. I was an online warrior and I was used to getting away with that shit. But uh, high level play, you wasn't getting away with that shit. Like you cannot jump in K nine at all. So people played. People play mostly on the ground in MK9, which I love. Like, they play mostly on the ground. And it seems like they're trying to encourage that with MK11, but I think they're going about it the wrong way. I think making people jumps floaty is like the easy way, easy cop out. Like, you don't have to make the jumps floaty because it, I feel like it makes the game look bad. I think you should, you should tighten up the jumps, add more gravity to it, but just, um, just, just give standing ones more power. As far as anti um, but have them be have them be able to have your opponent be able to beat it out with jump kicks. So there's a mind game there. And um, another thing, if you did your jump kick too early, because if you like if you in MK9 if you did a jump kick too early, thinking that they were gonna stand on you, then your opponent could crouch, and you did if you do that jump kick, that jump kick is already out at the timing of the standing one, but he's not doing a standing one, he's doing a down one. So you did that shit and your jump three is out, but now you just did a, a jump three and your opponent is already ducking. So your jump three is out. 
but you didn't hit the you didn't hit the opponents. Now he's doing now he's doing down one, so you get clipped anyway. So there's a, that aspect. Another aspect was people would jump in. They would try to jump in with a jump one. And MK9, if you try to jump in with a jump one, and, and I read that I can do down three, which at that time I think down threes was kind of pretty much universal. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I played, but I know female characters they could do down three when you would do a jump in, and then like they would the jump in one or two would totally whiff, and then you would be at advantage and you could start um, your pressure. But I think they can get back to the, those kind of mind games with the jump ins. I just think it's been so long. But I think that will make. That would make that would make the 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 mind games really solid. Cause I, I don't I don't like the I don't like the floatiness of the the jump ins right now. Anything mechanically that I want. What's up, King Sean? Uh, anything mechanically. Hmm. I think what they're doing, what they have in the game right now, as far as mechanics, is good. Um, they didn't put a push block in the game, and I think that's maybe for good reason. Maybe they don't, they don't have, they they don't, they don't intend to have the kind of pressure, the the kind of pressure that will require somebody to have to use a push block system. That's the only reason I could think of them not putting it in. Like, <clears throat> I don't feel like maybe they don't have anything in the game that would just be ridiculously oppressive because now you don't have I guess now, now you don't have the council pressure that you might have in this game I don't feel like MK11 will be as oppressive as MKX I don't think it's gonna be that oppressive it's gonna be mo mostly footsie heavy walk space you know whiff punish that kind of shit it's not gonna be rush you down major plus frames major you know run councils and shit like that it's not going to be like that so it's, it's not going to be like you're not going to feel like everything is coming at you so quick with solid plus frames to where you feel like i can't do shit i gotta push i gotta block break or some shit yep the move list the move list i think they yeah it's it's simple. I, I see that it's simple. You know, they talk about themselves, and I think that's the reason why they're going for less juggles. You know, they want to keep this controlled. They want to keep it simple. They want to keep it to the point. You know, and they want they really want neutral to shine in this game. You're gonna really have to make good decisions. I feel right now from looking at this build of the game. You're going to really have to make great decisions to open your opponent up. Um, especially once people figure out strings and all of the options of these characters. You know, at the reveal, you see people, you see people, like a lot of people seeing people getting opened up by shit, but that's because we are not familiar with these moves. The more you're familiar with these moves, the harder it's going to be to open people up. People thinking that, oh, Scorpion got mixed because Hayate was fucking up Honeybee with teleports and shit like that. It's just... Honey Bee didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I guarantee you if he did, it would be that much more harder for um, Hayate to open him up. Yeah, you know, I don't think, and that's what I'm saying, Hayate, I don't think Scorpion had mixed. I just think Honey Bee didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> so he like he was just getting mixed to no end, but people don't know what's overhead or low or mid. They just see people getting opened up and they just want to call it mixed, but it's not necessarily that. It's just unfamiliarity. Um, I don't care. I mean, like, look, you know, I enjoyed run while it was there. I enjoyed the run button. I felt like it was something different. I enjoyed it. Um, but it's not something that uh, I feel it. As far as me, it don't define me because when I started playing MK9 competitively, I didn't have a run button, so I'm used to that territory. I don't, I don't care if it's not making a return because it allows me to get back to playing the game how I'm used to playing it, how I came into the scene playing it, and there was no run button. There was that was dash blocking and you know um customized spacing because dash blocking was so good you know you could find that you could really find that sweet spot in the neutral um 
that's that you know just intricate little spots that you wanted to be in in order to get that one that one whiff punish or you know it was it was so good man mk9 neutral was so good because you had so much control over where exactly on the screen you wanted to be <clears throat> But um, I do feel like the game could be sped up. Like somebody said, probably 1.5 by 1.5, you know, speed that thing up. I still feel like it's a little bit too slow. Um, nobody's saying make it crazy, crazy fast. Uh, it don't have to be as nearly fast as this game, but, you know, um, right now it it's – it's it's slightly faster. I feel like it's slightly faster than Injustice Two, and we know Injustice Two is a is a slow game. Um, so I would like them to speed it up just a little bit more. Uh, but you don't want to you don't want them to speed it up to where, um, you know, the overheads be too unreactable and stuff like that. You know, you want to really you want to really earn those overheads. Really, you want to. You want to condition people and play mind games around um, special cancelable moves that don't lead to big damage. You know, I feel like I feel like in the case of Sonya, the way she's gonna open you up is by not her back one two, which is the overhead option, but her back one um, whatever whatever the other the other move was where she gets a low after the back one. Once you condition somebody to blocking shit like that, because that damage adds up, right? So. You get somebody conditioned to blocking that. That's when you're going to be able to open them up for more damage. So it's going to be about conditioning as well. You're going to want to condition your opponent in order to get um, in order to get decent damage. So once you get somebody used to blocking a certain way, then you can start opening up different options. And then you got flawless blocking. And then you got you know certain situations where if some you do try to do the low and you feel like she's going to get the read on the low. I mean, you feel like you're going to get the read on her low. Then you can do you can do shit like a short hop. Which I think I seen Rewind do in the, in, in the set with Sonic Fox. You do, you like, okay, I know you like to go for the low options. So I think that's why they push short. It was just, this shit is phenomenal, bro. This shit is, this shit is crazy because, like, if I know that you're going to keep going for that low with Sonya, then I'm going to just short hop your shit, get a knockdown, and now I'm in advantage. So, you know, I think about shit like that, and it's just like the, the mind games is just, it's everywhere. And then at the same time, you got to worry about perfect block. So it's just, you're going to really have to fucking be smart in this game at high level. And you're going to really, your execution is going to have to, I feel like the execution requirement is going to be, they're, they're, this game on a, this game on a, on a, on the surface is going to be, yeah, it's easy to pick up, which is what you want. You want it to be easy to pick up. You want it to be party friendly. But when you start getting into what they say the nerdy shit is when it's gonna start really requiring you to have um it's gonna really start requiring you to, to show some execution. To show that you really fucking know what you're doing in this game. And I feel like that's why they put that's why they put um that's why they switched up the meter burn options because they really want you to know your shit. I get it. You know, they really want you to know your shit, but I feel like they don't have to go that far. Um, I feel like with how they're changing up the neutral right now alone, you're going to really have to know your shit. But right now, as it stands, those little meter burn or amplifier moves with the different inputs, like some of the inputs to amplify your move isn't even on the same button as this, as the move that you're putting in. So you might have back forward triangle and then amplify that bitch. You might be back square. So you're going to really have to, like that shit could cost you a game if you forget what move you did and how to amplify it. That shit could cost you the game. So they're going to really require you to know your shit. And only way you're going to be able to do that is if you really know the game if you really you know on some pro shit
can you flawless block if the first hit of a string whiffs? Well, if they do the first hit of a string and, and continue the string and you have the timing of that string that he does, you got good reaction and you know um, the timing of, of that string, then, yeah, you can flawless block it and get the punish. What up, Silent? Yo, appreciate that 31 months, bro. How do I feel about people instantly rematching? Look, I was going to tweet this too, but um, I don't feel like people should, like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. It's been, there's been hype sets that, there's been hype sets that, uh, that I've seen come down to the wire and I wanted, I want to, I, you know, me, myself, I wanted to see a proper ending to those matches, but people are rematch and shit like that or they're unplug the controller too fast. I believe that um, people should still be able to rematch and do all that shit up until top eight. I feel like top eight is where you should really enforce, hey, we want to put we want this tournament and this top eight to come to a you know a nice clean um, viewer friendly conclusion. So you want people to, you know, really you know, really get an enjoyment out of top eight. So you want, like, I would, I would do it like this. Like, first intro, the first intro, let it rock. You know, let them do the little combo shit. But after that, okay, you got to do the fatality. You got to do whatever, whatever. You got to do the outro and shit. But then after that, like, after that first match, like, you could skip the, you could skip the intro if you want. Just to speed it up a little bit, but you still got to do the fatalities and, you know, the outros and shit or whatever. But you have a choice after the first game whether or not you want to let intros rock. So. Shouldn't fatal blows be gone from the round if you whiff them? Get them. Um, I don't think fatal blows. No, nah, I think. I think that's where the optimal combo is going to come from. So I don't feel like you should lose it for the entire round. You know, I feel like that's where your optimals are going to come, come from. So just don't get opened up, bro. Don't get opened up. Don't make stupid decisions. And you won't have to eat a fatal blow. I mean, or a fatal, whatever that shit is. Uh, oh, you say, oh, I'm thinking crushing blows. Shouldn't fatal blows be gone for the round if you lift them? I think they're gone for. Oh wait, did they make it to where fatal blows? If you don't connect them, they come back. But if you connect them, they don't come back. Is that what it is? Yeah, you can flawless block projectiles. If you don't connect, you get it back. Um, see. I think they did that because that's your comeback factor. And I don't know. Maybe they feel like it'll be too one sided if you if you whiff it. I mean if you whiff it or you don't hit it. But see that, that that's why I think it's fair. You know why? I think it would have been broke. I think it would have been broke and I wouldn't have liked it and I wouldn't have wanted it to come back or, you know, the reason why I can I can accept that it comes back if it whiffs or it's, or it get blocked is because it don't have armor for five frames. If that shit had armor on startup the whole way through, that should be broke, and I wouldn't I wouldn't want you to be able to whiff it and it comes back, or or you do it and it get blocked and you still get it back, because then at that at that point the move becomes broke. So the fact that it's not the fact that it it doesn't have armor makes me okay with it. It has armor, but it, the armor doesn't come out for five frames. So I'm okay with that because you have to really know when you're gonna when you're gonna be able to do um, your fatal blow. You can't just throw that shit out like in the middle of a string or some shit like that. Like it don't work like that because that shit gonna get stuck. You're gonna really have to either you're gonna whip punish with it, but after you whip punish with it, it's gone. But that's gonna make your opponent think even more. Like, damn, I can't whiff nothing. 
Like, you're going to have to really play some immaculate neutral, and you're going to have to really play smart so you won't get fucking whiffed and get punished with a fucking fatal blow. Because it's a combat factor and it's a game closer. So you only get in one round, well, one one match. You only get a fatal blow one match. So you got to choose whether you want to do that shit round one to make a combat factor if your opponent is up like up on life, you know what I'm saying? Or you want to use that shit to close out a match. Choice is yours. But once you use that shit, the rest, you don't get no more clutch. I mean, no, no more crutch type shit. You don't, you know, you don't get no help there. It's going to be all what you do in the neutral to close out the match. Yeah, no more YOLO x-rays. What up, EJ? I think Ed Boom did a, a um. Did you guys talk to Ed Boom about the enchanted moves being only one button, or was there something that was only mentioned on Twitter? Um, look, he did a he did an interview <clears throat> with Game Informer, and I think well, Ed Boom himself he said that if he had if he had the choice, you know, and they're still working it out, him and the, him and the designers of the game. Um. He said if it was up to him, he would he would make it he would make it all like the, the, the amplifier moves all, you know, one button um universally like they have been. But <clears throat> like I said, I think they just wanted to really challenge players as far as um execution and memorizing shit. I think that's why they did that. Um I feel like for the scrubs, <laughs> for people who have it who used to having it easy. Um, it's gonna require a little bit more of you. Um, it can be done. I feel like it's once you once you really know what you're doing and you really memorize your character through and through, it won't be hard to do. But just to keep it user friendly, they might wanna they might wanna keep it to where it's uh it's, it's universally one button. Yeah, I mean it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna require more of you. Like if they keep it this way, it's gonna require more of you when um when learning a new character. Not just a new character, but a specific variation because um you know those meet those amplified the amplified versions of those moves, the uh the amplified um, input is going to be constantly changing on, but on you know, depending on the move that you're going to have to be using in that variation. So you have to really know your shit. <laughs> oh boy, I do this shit. You know, and you know I do this shit. Ain't no problem. I like it more like this anyway. You know what, B Dog? I'm kicking myself in the foot for that because um I spend most most time playing one variation with Scarlet. And that's because, you know, we, we was we we had to use those first very those first variations um for the exhibition. Um so I mean I had I had the opportunity to <clears throat> after that I had the opportunity to, to play more variations with her, but I just didn't. I just really stuck to the to try to to try to figure out the first uh, the first variation, but I heard that she had a variation called I don't know I think it was Type O or something like that that was probably that was probably going to be her strongest variation. But I, I was I was searching on YouTube to try to find um, to try to find anybody who probably like dived more deeply into her variations, but I haven't found anything yet. O negative, yeah. I don't see. I don't even know what those other variations that she have does. I just know. I just know about the first variation because that's the one that I played the most. But um, I'm really curious about the other ones. This man. <clears throat> yeah, 
yeah, she's gonna be very strong as far as Scarlett's gonna be strong as far as um mid range to long range goes. She wants you at mid range to long range. Um I think her, her anti air is too is her anti air capability when you're on point is looking pretty solid as well. She's gonna she's gonna have some pretty good zoning. Um and uh She's gonna have some good some good pressure as well. I don't even know if that little tentacle that little blood tentacle move that she has as far as for like zoning. I don't even know if that's punishable. From what I from what I did and how it looks like it, it is on block. It looks like it's safe for the most part. She got like Catwoman with Catwoman's whip, which is like a high though. She has like this little blood whip that has like medium range. Well, you know, bro, like Fight. DFC, I've been playing Scarlet. Scarlet is my Scarlet is uh my original main from MK9. So, you know. That's the you know, that and she was really demanded a lot by Mortal Kombat fans to make a return, so they put it back in. Scarlet is solid, man. She's good. She's a good zoner. Um, and I, I've, 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 I've kind of developed like, I don't know. I, I like, I like playing lane. Ever since, ever since picking up Supergirl, I enjoy playing lane. But like I said, at the same time, people who, people who worry about zoning, and this game being too strong, I don't think, I think you're jumping to conclusion because I don't feel like zoning is gonna be, um. You know this oak, this overpowered, uh, hella annoying um, thing that it was in, in Injustice. You know, as far as like how Deadshot was, to where you felt like it was, it was just sometimes impossible to get in. You know, stages around stages in 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 this game in MK11 stages, it's probably the shortest that it's ever been. So it's gonna be you gotta if, if you're a zoner and you want to play a keep away game, you're gonna find yourself back into the corner real quick. So it's gonna be up to you as a zoning character to also be able to be really good at knowing when to go in and fight your opponent just for that split second in order to reestablish um, to reestablish a, a middle position on the screen. If if you feel like if you're zoning and you feel like you're getting your back against the wall and, and you don't wanna you don't wanna put yourself there and you, and you feel like it's time to get out of there again, you're gonna have to make good plays in order to get your opponent on that side of the screen where the corner is at, so you can have more room to continue your zoning. And if you can't do that, then you're gonna find yourself in the corner position, which you don't wanna be at. Because we all know with the corner comes more damage. You don't want that. But, you know, hey, I, I, I'm just hoping they keep the formula that I think that they're trying to do. You know, I hope that they keep that... Um, I keep. I hope they keep the same energy that I've seen in this build going throughout the entire cast because you know I, <laughs> I made the mistake of praising Injustice too when I walked away from it from E3, you know I, I ran back and I was like yeah you know 50-50s ain't finna be shit boys finna have to play neutral boy was I wrong, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm actually what I'm seeing what I'm seeing from. From this installment so far, I'm hoping that it's, it's actually what, what I think it is. I'm hoping I'm not just seeing a mirage. You know, so. I think Garrus, I think Garrus is going to be, I think Garrus might be the most dumbest character on the screen right now, honestly. Garrus just might be the strongest character. He just might be the strongest character that we've seen so far. This man controls time. He could take 30 seconds off the clock, which is, I don't understand. That, that has to change. 
that has there's no like there's no other reason to play any character in the build right now if you have a character that can hit you one time with one get combo freeze you and then take 30 seconds off the clock he also has a command grab which can lead to a crushing blow he also can turn back time so if he makes a mistake and you hit him he teleports back to the original state that he was in he also has a move where it's kind of like smokes back teleport so he does a move and then he can cancel that move you can use a bar to cancel it's like a shoulder or some type of shit like a shoulder rush but you can cancel that shoulder rush and he like moves back to his original position but it costs a bar but it's still a fucking good move i, I don't fucking know that character just look like he's look he looks wild he looks wild <laughs> That's a gear move. It looked like it ought to be a gear move. I don't think that would be something that I don't. But I don't know if I don't fucking know. I don't know what's gear and what's not. Fight. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I really didn't. Di I really didn't dive into like the whole gear, gear um, thing that they were doing or they're trying to do. I don't know if every move is gonna be equipable, and I don't know if every move has been tailored to where it can be fit for a tournament or, or whatnot. Thirty second. This is a three slide move. How does it feel like Injustice or MKX or a mixture of the two? I don't feel like it feels, I, bro. I don't feel like it feels. It don't feel like neither one, bro. Like honestly, um, you know, if it felt like Injustice two, you know, maybe the only thing that makes it feel like Injustice two is probably um the speed of it right now and um i don't know maybe jumps but other than that uh i don't feel like it plays like i don't feel like it plays like either one bro i feel like this is a this is a different feel from either one um and if i had to compare it if i had to compare it to any any mortal kombat game or any game that nrs has made it's probably the closest to mk9 which, you know, probably most of y'all haven't played. But, you know, that's why... That's why you got some pro players booting that shit up. Um, they're trying to go back to MK9 to kind of get a feel on what, what they think that the game might play like. Because, you know, I feel like that's, that's the vibes that we're getting the most from this game. It's MK9 vibes. In terms of uh, neutral, and I've heard MK2 as well. As far as combo potential, maybe MK2, um, with combos not being so juggle heavy, in a sense. Yeah, man, but, um, I'm hoping they polish it up just a little bit more. You know, they don't have to don't have to do too much. Just I just I just want them to work on the jump ins a little bit more. I want them to work on the anti airs a little bit more. Um, yeah, man, like, and the, and the dash block, like, work on the work on the jump ins a little bit more. Work on the dash blocking. Work on dashes in general a little bit more. 
And um Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Bitch ass motherfucker. Hopping in my motherfucking DMs. Yeah, work on the jump ins. Work on the dashes. Um, and what else I said? Jump ins, dashes. And anti-airs? Was it anti-airs? I guess it's anti-airs. 